All right, Suzuki Nation, GSXR fans, I got something to show you. Check this out. Okay, you want to talk about wheelbase? We're not done yet. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. We're not done. 73 inches. This thing's amazing. It's got a Chris Moore tune-up. We're going to find out more about it. We're going to watch it run. Stay with us. Take a look at this beautiful GSXR 1000. We're not done yet. Look at this wheelbase. Oh my goodness. 73 inches. This thing's a monster. What's your name, sir? Jason Halpin. And where are you from? From Altoona, Pennsylvania here. Okay, not too far away from Keystone Raceway Park. Now you're telling me this is a, a Chris Moore tune? Yes. Tell me about it. Uh, just pump gas and basically everything he's done to his uh, latest 1000. Minus is, he, he just added some stacks in that. We got to order that from him yet. What's, yeah. what's it like to ride this monster? It's it's awesome. It, it's actually a little quicker than my ZX-14. Wow. So. You know how many horsepower we're dealing with here? I think it's only 183. Once again, only? Minutes, yeah. That's only 183. And, and you got a 73-inch wheelbase, so yes, sir. you're getting some. Well, good luck. Can't wait to watch you run. All Take right, a man. look at this, guys. As always, we're on a quest to travel the globe to bring you the wildest, most powerful motorcycles we can find, and we've got a lot to see in this video. Stay with us. Larry McBride's coming up. Well, hello there. Nice stickers. What are your names? Sherry. And? David Doremus. And where are you from? Cincinnati, Ohio. Do you watch Cycle Drag? I watch Cycle Drag. Thank you so much. 73 inches. Is that a swing arm or a ladder? Wow. Should help him keep from getting the bike loopy, looping it out. I'm not so sure how great his cornering ability will be. Let's find out. Last bike, 958, almost 150 miles an hour. He beat Doug Fisher's Hayabusa on a whole shot. That is a mean GSXR 1000. Yeah, maybe we can get Chris Moore to comment down below and find out what his performance shot did to that bike. Time. More great racing here at Keystone Raceway, New Alexandria, Pennsylvania. Getting there first will be the left lane, 976. We got a no bar, Willie Bar matchup. Which one do you like better, guys? Are you a no bar guy or a bar guy? <laughs> a couple of fast high boosts back in the 90s. Your machine better have had a Willie Bar. And then we saw the influx of no bar bikes. Now, a little bit of mixture of both. What do you prefer and why? Who's gonna win this race? Looks like the bar bike got this one, but I'll tell you, shock technology, swing arm technology, and tire technology have come so far. 925 for the bar bike. 925, the bar bike takes it. Let's see if the Chris Moore tuned GSXR 1000 has anything for the bar Hayabusa. We are close to the finish line. Top end, check it out. The no bar bike gets there first on a whole shot. GSXR goes a bagger now. Oh, great race. That's a super stock GSXR 1000. Jordan Haas putting it on the Harley. Suzuki Nation stand up on that one. Wow, 950, unbelievable. We've seen some great racing and there is more yet to come. 
Let's check in with the Spider-Man. That's a nice looking sticker. What is your name, sir? Jimmy Smith from Where? Macon, Georgia. I love it. Do you watch Cycle Drag? All the time. Thanks so much. All right. You do it all, man. We do it all. We do it all. Beautiful. Great job. Well, before we get you to the quickest and fastest motorcycle drag racing run of all time, let me share some photos with you from some of the coolest bikes that I was able to see at Keystone. There's the fishing Search boys. Engine. The ZX-14 in the boost. Yeah. How about Geronimo on his bagger? And let me know in the comments, what do you think is the optimal wheelbase for a no-bar drag bike? I'm not getting too crazy. You like 73 inches or is that too long? There's the Kawasaki H2. That can bike can use a swing on. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We are broadcasting here Keystone Raceway Park, New Alexandria, Pennsylvania, right outside of Pittsburgh. This is our home track. We grew up at this track. I used to film in the 90s with a big VHS camcorder. Now, thanks to you guys, we've got more than 160,000 followers on Cycle Drag YouTube, and we've got a bunch more on CycleDrag.com Facebook. There you go. Great job. Oh, great job. Never gets old, never gets old. World record. Thank you for keeping it growing. Please share our outlet with one friend who does not yet know about us. If you love drag racing, if you love motorcycles, if you love wild head-to-head -head competition, this outlet is for you. Cycle Drag on YouTube, CycleDrag.com on Facebook, and Cycle Drag on Instagram. Lock into all three. We'll keep it coming. We love your feedback. Give us your comments, story ideas, and you know if there's anything fast motorcycles involved, even in the Berg, Pittsburgh, PA down there, we are in. Cycle drag rolls on. Today, I'm top fuel champion, uh, world record holder, and one thing I'd like to do would be think cycledrag.com on Facebook, and I'd like for everybody to watch the and view Cycle Drag on YouTube. Um, uh, people that help us out help our sport out a lot and uh, if you don't support them um, it's hard for us to give any support guys and just keep keep supporting my man Jack and we'll be here a long time <laughs> Thank you everybody for subscribing to Cycle Drag on YouTube. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the comments, and thank you for also liking CycleDrag.com on Facebook. Share with your friends. If you keep it growing, we're going to keep bringing you awesome stuff like this. Thanks a lot. If you like what you see, give it a share. More fast motorcycles coming. The business, we got the tie on. If it's fast motorcycles, we're in. Cycle Drag rolls on.